I'm also the debate coach in my school. So we do a lot of like logos, pathos, ethos. So where are you kind of gathering your evidence from? And then as an eighth grader, you know, testifying to these committees, they really do need to talk like personally, why does it matter to them as well, along with their, because, you know, anybody, um, any, you know, interest group can grab statistics, but then they really need to contextualize those statistics for them. That make it either hard to understand and kind of make the legislative process. I also teach language arts, so they write essays as well um, about government and how does it work. And so they're they're constantly gathering evidence from their sessions with the lobbyists and from all of their research because they know they have to write this paper later on at the end. When we prepare for our meetings with the lobbyists, um, they always have questions ready because um, I don't I want them to feel like they're really engaged with the lobbyists and getting their questions answered. Okay, how about uh, Nara? You've been waiting very patiently. But I want them to be really informed questions. So I teach them how like they have to have some sort of statement. And I know that in many cases, the school board and parent association will have a say in that, that shows that they've done some research um, and then going into their questions. So their their questions are long, but it also shows that one, they've done research, they know what they're talking about, and that they have a focus. Good question and good um, good read of that. And that I think really helps the lobbyists know kind of where they're going to get those questions answered. And then it also allows the students to really delve in. So they're not just asking like, you know, how does a bill become a law or what happened with this bill? Instead, they're saying, OK, well, I saw on line four of um, this amendment that Senator blah, blah, blah said this. What does that actually mean in context with our bill? And those sorts of things allow them to really get the answers that they want and then also teaching them how to pull out events.